poof. You were here and then poof. Now you're there. I know you're probably wondering why am I saying that right now. I'm saying this because your life can change in the blink of an eye. Glory, hallelujah. This is what God just wants you to know right now. If you're tuning into this video. And if you one of my Diamond Royals, I appreciate it if you tune in to the end of the video. Because this message is for you. Your life can change in the blink of an eye. Little do you know. Just like that. As fast as I'm blinking my eyes right now. You could be in one place. And then God can shift you and you could be somewhere else. So you shouldn't worry about what's going on and where you at in life right now. Because just because you were in a place, that does not mean you're going to be in that same place 10 years from now. Depends on how you move and how you live your life. If you choose to follow the Holy Spirit and, and do what he wants for your life. Or if you choose to do something else. That will be your choice to make. But you must always be led by the Holy Spirit for your life. You must always be led by the Holy Spirit. And when you're led by the Holy Spirit, he's able to shift you to places that he wants you to go. You might have been in an apartment for some of you guys. A horrible apartment. Something that you don't really want to be in. But you had to get there because you either moved out of state, you was trying to learn the city, you was doing things. And then five years past that time you first moved to that state state apartment, you might be in a mansion. A five, six bedroom home with four bathrooms. You might have been homeless yesterday, you that's watching this video, who is this for? You've been homeless. You slept in your car every day. And then not in the blink of an eye. God, you prayed to God and said you didn't want to be homeless no more. You asked God to help you in your situation. You started getting right with God. He told you the steps you need to do. You started writing down the vision that God wanted you to do. The next thing you know, you a multimillionaire. And now you got three or four mansions. You darn near stay in a palace. You own an apartment complex. You own several houses. And you rent them out to other people that need a home. So don't look at your situation. As because you're here right now. That you always going to be there forever. In a blink of an eye. Your life can change. Just like in a blink of an eye. Like Revelation tells us. That the righteous are going to be caught up in glory. In a blink of an eye. Your life can change like that. So we can't get caught up. You shouldn't get caught up into where you are right now. Just because you are right now, that don't mean that's your destiny. That's not your destiny. That's not That's not the end for you. That's not the end. It's only the beginning. You got to use your faith like never before. If you got faith as small as a mustard seed, things can happen. You can tell that mountain to move and it shall move. Just like that, God wants to transform your life. Are you going to listen to the lies of the devil and say that you ain't going to do nothing or you always going to be homeless forever or you always going to be in that situation? Or are you going to listen to God and say, you know what? I'm here right now, but I know God got me somewhere better, something better for me. God got something better for me. Your life can change very quickly God is telling a lot of you you y'all need to focus on him during this time so he can get you to where he wants you to go you might be uncomfortable for a moment in your situation but that's the only to change and push you so you won't be stagnant you're uncomfortable so God wants you allow you to get comfortable in that place he wants you to move change for the better Sometimes change is really for the better. Because you were here, now you're there. You were here, now you a leader. You were here, now you a public figure. 
Your life can change just like that. And people despise you. And God will allow it to happen because he don't want them people messing up the plans and the purposes that he have for your life. This is why your life could change. Be happy and be grateful where you are. God gave you life. He gave you breath to wake up another day. That's what he gave you breath to wake up another day to breathe air so just be thankful whatever God got you right now because you're not going to be there forever this is only temporary have faith God knows exactly what he's doing he's trying to produce a good fruit in you that's what God is trying to do produce a very good fruit in you so you can go produce a good fruit or help produce a good fruit in someone else by your testimony and what God brought you out of God knew you was homeless God knew you didn't have nobody and this is why you blessed with that home today and can't nobody take that away from you they didn't put in the work to get where you are but they made fun of you though they laughed at you they mocked you in your situation but God said, don't worry about the mockers and the naysayers. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. You can be here, and the next thing you know, you can be somewhere else that quick. So do not limit God during this time just because your circumstances look a little funny. God said, appreciate the little things that he's doing in your life right now. He woke you up this morning. You might not have all the money in your bank account right now. You might not be where you want to be at right now. But it's coming. Have faith. Write down the vision that God gave you. Write down your goals. Once you write it down, it surely will come to pass. Especially if God gave it to you. If he gave you the vision. He only gave it to you. He didn't give it to nobody else. You might not be where you at. Where you're supposed to be at. But God still gave the vision. And his word would never come back void. It, was not, it would not come back void ever when he gave you the vision he wants you to focus on the little things focus on the peace of mind he gave you this morning glory hallelujah focus on the food he put on in the refrigerator for you this morning glory hallelujah focus on things like that focus on you waking up another day clothed in your right mind because somebody lost their mind and ended up in a mental institute little do you know but you clothed it in your right mind despite everything that you've been through so God still got his hanging on you. Operate by your faith, not by fear. That's going to make a difference in where you are in your life 10 years from now. Operating off your faith and not your fear. Focus on the little things like this. This morning I woke up, y'all. God is so good. And he put a gospel song on my heart. But it was right after another magnificent thing that I noticed. I was in my room. I just got out the shower. And I was feeling good from the shower. I, I dressed up. I said, you know what? I'm giving a prophetic word for God's children because this is what God wants me to do right now. So in the midst of me putting on my perfume, putting on my jewelry, putting on my clothes, and fixing up my hair, I noticed that the birds were chirping. But it wasn't just no usual chirp. This chirp was more like they were singing chirping. They were just doing this little chirping sound, but it sounded like they were singing. And it went on for about five minutes. But I've noticed every day that I wake up, I hear the birds chirping just like that. And I immediately in my spirit start getting this calming feeling in my spirit. And I said, that gives me so much peace just hearing them birds chirp like that. It was a peace that came up on me when I heard them birds chirping. It could be little things like that that God is doing. He will cause the birds to chirp around you just to make you be happy and refreshed for the day and wake you up this morning. The birds are happy. They singing and chirping because God woke them up today. And God is telling you to do the same thing. Sing and be happy because he woke you up another day. Just as the birds woke up singing and cheering and being happy. Then right after that, he put this gospel song on my heart from... Um, childhood and just came on my heart out of nowhere 
every now and then the Holy Spirit will put gospel music in my spirit just so I can remember him and focus on him and not other things and that gospel song was welcome into this place welcome into this broken vessel we abide to abide and be and sing praises to I hope I'm singing the words right to your people cause we lift our hands and we lift our heart that's all I know for that song. That was the words. It went something like that. I can't remember the full gospel song. But after I heard them birds chirping and I got that gospel song put on my spirit, it really gave this sense of calmness and peace to my spirit. And I was really more thankful this morning than ever. And I said, you know, it's the little things God is doing. It's not always about getting up, making money all the time. It's about just being at peace with where God got you at. If God got you in a particular place, whether if you homeless, you know, and sometimes you homeless because of you, not because of God. But if God got you in that place, it's something that he wanted to produce up out of you, some faith in you to get you about that situation. Sometimes we are in circumstances that we don't want to be in so God can produce faith up out of us. You ain't got no faith. You ain't got nothing. Your faith is more important than making millions of dollars. Your faith is way more important than money. Money is just paper. It comes and goes. Your faith is eternal. Your faith is eternal. God is saying, hallelujah. And y'all need to be thankful wherever it is that God got y'all. And pray. if you don't want to be there, pray that God gets you out this situation and see if he won't do it. If you're living according to his purpose for your life and you're living holy, you're living righteous, basically. You're not living wicked, you're living righteous. He will get you up out of any situation. This is why your life can change in the blink of an eye. Like never before. I did not want to keep y'all long on this particular video because I think I made my point enough on this. Your life can change in a blink of an eye. Do not worry about where you are today because you might not be there tomorrow. You might be in a whole different place, a better place. Focus on God. Focus on the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and the rest of these things will be added unto you. Keep the faith and be thankful for the little things that God doing right now. The little things that he's showing you. Your peace of mind. You being able to get up and pray. You be able to get up and walk and move. Because you got all your limbs. You got your arms, legs, your feet. You got you got a mouth to speak. You got ears to hear. The little things that God is blessing you with. Be thankful for that. And that's the prophetic message I have for somebody. A royal one. Your life can change in the blink of an eye. So don't worry about your circumstance today. Write the vision down and make it happen. By the power of God in your life. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.